Number 30. When 1.0 grams of fructose, which is C6H12O6, and that's a sugar commonly found in fruits, is burned in oxygen in a bomb calorimeter, the temperature of the calorimeter increases by 1.58 degrees Celsius. If the heat capacity of the calorimeter and its contents are 9.90 kilojoules per degree Celsius, what is the Q for this combustion? Okie dokie. So, new type of question here. All the other questions in this chapter or in the playlist have to do with simple calorimeters in which we use like coffee cups to basically find the heat transferred between water and a metal or water and a ionic compound. In this case, we're talking about a different calorimeter, which is called a bomb calorimeter. These calorimeters are much more powerful. The reactions that are going to produce are way more powerful. They produce way more joules. So you need like a huge handy dandy machine for these. And these types of reactions generally uh, deal with combustion reactions. Now, in this case, we are dealing with a combustion reaction because I have a hydrocarbon. I have just a compound that has carbon and hydrogen and six oxygens, but it's being burned in oxygen. Whenever you see burned or burned in oxygen, that's a symbol or to show you that this is a combustion reaction, so we do need a bomb calorimeter. Now, bomb calorimetry, they kind of follow different formulas. So the first thing is, is, you know, just make sure, are you using a simple calorimeter? That's Q equals MS delta T. But in this case, we have to find out what's going on with this actual bomb calorimeter. The bomb calorimeter formula is even simpler. It's this one. Anytime that you want to find a heat for a combustion, right, and it's coming from a bomb calorimeter and only a bomb calorimeter, all we have to do is take the C, which is the heat capacity. This is coming back, right? I think we did this way in the beginning. We're taking the heat capacity and multiplying it by the delta T, the change in temperature. So let's see. They told us that the bomb calorimeter had a heat capacity of 9.90 kilojoules per degree Celsius. So I know that number. And now the delta T. They did say that the temperature of the calorimeter increased by 1.58 degrees Celsius. I don't know a beginning. I don't know an ending temperature. All I know is that it increased or it rose up by 1.58 degrees Celsius. That's a delta T. Since it rose, this would be a positive value. If they said that it fell, it would be a negative value. So we have a positive 1.58 degrees Celsius. Now we got the two numbers. All we got to do is calculate it. <laughs> Look how wonderful that is. So the heat produced by this bomb calorimeter would be 9.98 or 9.90 and multiplying it by 1.58. Okay, let's figure it out. So 9.9 .9 times 1.58, I get 15.642. I'm looking back at the question. I see we need three sig figs. So it's just 15. Point six. And now just be careful, guys. Since the heat capacity was given to us in kilojoules, that's the unit for the heat. So this would be in kilojoules. So just make sure, is your bomb calorimeter, is the heat capacity in kilojoules? Then the heat would be in kilojoules. If this was in joules, then this would be in joules. Did I spell this wrong? I don't know. <laughs> Capacity. <laughs> there should be a C here. Capa... Capa... Who knows? Hold on. Capacity. There we go. Okay. And that's it. Now, they tried to throw you off by adding the one gram of fructose, right? But that's just saying that, you know, with that amount, the, the bomb calorimeter is going to just absorb 15.6 kilojoules of heat. But the 1.0 does not go into this formula, right? There is no mass in this formula. So... It's not needed. It's extra information. Thank you so much for viewing the video. I really hope this helped. Let me know in the comments. 
I will see you all in future lessons. I hope you guys are having an awesome day out there. Let's keep studying hard. You guys got this. Good luck on your future tests and quizzes. And if you want to subscribe to the channel, that would be awesome. Thank you. <laughs> all right. See you in later lessons. Bye-bye.